today we are going to do lesson 10, mixed numbers and improper fractions. So let's look at our definition. An improper fraction has a numerator that is greater than or equal to its denominator. Mixed numbers can be written as improper fractions. So they give us this chart down here to show us the difference. So mixed numbers have a whole number and a fraction part, while improper fractions don't have that whole number but are still equal to more than one. So three over two, well, three is bigger than two. So this is an improper fraction. The same with 11 over four. Four is less than 11, so this is an improper fraction. So let's look at their examples. Nikoyo is selling pies at a bake sale. Each pie has five slices. There are seven slices left what fraction of the pie is left. So let's count. One way we can do this is by counting our holes and the parts. We can see that there's one hole and two parts. So one and two fifths. So that's this example. Or we can count all of the parts. We can count that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts or seven fifths. And because we took this from the same exact pie, we know that one and two fifths and seven fifths are equal. So let's look at the next example. You can change a mixed number to an improper fraction. You can also change an improper fraction to a mixed number. So we can do this both ways. So let's look at example two. Write one and three eighths as an improper fraction. Well, so they drew a model here for us. And we can also see, we can write one and three eighths as a sum. One plus three eighths is the same as one and three eighths. We know that one is equal to eight over eight. One, if we have one, that is equal to one over one. Remember, we can multiply that by anything. So one times one is eight over eight. So eight over eight plus three over eight, well, that would be 11 over eight. We can also count that there are 11 pieces up here shaded in. So one and three eighths is equal to 11 eighths. Example three. Let's write nine fourth as a mixed number. This model shows nine divided into groups of four. So this way we're going the other way. Instead of having a mixed number, we need to find a mixed number. So we have one hole and two holes, and then one fourth. So nine fourths equals two and one fourth. So guided practice. Write a mixed number and an improper fraction for the shaded model. So they want both, mixed number and an improper fraction. So we first, let's do our mixed number. So we have one and one, two, three, four, six. So one and four, six. Or how many pieces do we have in total? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 over 6. Those are equal to 1 and 4, 6. Number 2. We're doing the same thing, writing a mixed number and an improper fraction. So first, our mixed number, we've got 1, 2, and 2 thirds, or Count our pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total, but we only have eight shaded in, so eight over three, because that's our base shape. Our base shape has three pieces. Number three, we have one, two total pieces, and three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or, well, this is 10, so 10 plus 10 plus 3 is 23 over 10, because 10 is how many pieces we broke this into. Number 4, we have one hole, two hole, 
and one half. Or our improper fraction, let's count our pieces, one, two, three, four, five, over two. So one and one half is our unit fraction. So two and one half is equal to five over two. So let's look at five. So we have one, two, three whole, and three over fourth, that's our mixed number. Or we can count our pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, over four. Draw models to write each mixed number as an improper fraction, okay? So we have to draw our model. So I have one full bar and then I have one, I have five pieces in this bar and three are colored in. So we have five, six, seven, eight over five pieces. Okay, so two and three fourths, we have one, two, three bars, and I'm gonna break those each into four pieces because one fourth is our unit fraction. Color in one, two whole, and three over here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven over four is our improper fraction. Okay, now we have one and seven tenths. So here's our one. We go. Got to break this into 10 pieces. So this whole one is colored in and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven plus 10 whole is 17 over 10 is our improper fraction. Number nine, now we're drawing models to write an improper fraction as a mixed number. So we need to have something with eight pieces because eight, one eighths is our unit fraction. So let's draw two because we know we're getting a mixed number so there has to be at least one. So let's color in 11 pieces. So four, eight, nine, 10, 11. So what do we end up? We end up with one whole and three eighths. Okay, nine over six. So six is our unit fraction. So we need to divide these into one sixth. So each one of these boxes has six shapes. So nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have one whole and three over six left. Okay, number 11, seven over three. So let's draw our boxes and we need to divide these into thirds because one third is our unit fraction and color in seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have one whole, two whole, and one third. Okay, the diagram of horseback riding tour is shown. There are resting stops along the trail. Write the distance from the covered bridge to the stables as an improper fraction. Okay, so they give us the distance between the covered bridge and the stables is three and three fourths mile. So we need to write that as an improper fraction. Well, we can draw our models down here. So one, two, three, and four. Cut each one of these into fourths because one fourth is our unit fraction. Color in these pieces because we have one, two, three holes and three fourths. And how many pieces do we have in total? Well, we have four plus four plus four plus three. And that gives us 
15 over 3. 15 over 4. Okay. Joaquin reached the end of the trail in 2 hours and 15 minutes. Write the amount of time he spent on the trail as a mixed number and as an improper fraction. So he spent 2 hours and 15 minutes. I'll tell you that 15 minutes is equal to one fourth of an hour. There are four segments of 15 in an hour. So we have two and one fourth is our mixed number, and now we have to put it into an improper fraction. Instead of drawing all of these over here, we can use just some simple multiplication. We can say that four times two is eight, so eight over four equals two, and then we just have to add our one-fourth, so nine over four is the same as two and one-fourth. So Kelly walked three miles and Abby walked three-fourths of a mile. How far did they walk in all? Well, what we're doing is adding them, so three plus three-fourths is the same as three and three-fourths mile. And if we were to put this as an improper fraction, we can use that same multiplication trick, where four times three is 12 over our unit, denominator of four plus three fourths equals 15 over four. So name an improper fraction that, we can, that can be written as a whole number. Include a model to support your answer. Well, we talked about this a little bit on the first page, but any number over itself is a whole number. So 8 over 8 equals 1, 2 over 2 equals 1, 3 over 3 equals 1, and we'll show that in a model over here. If I have four pieces and I color in all four, we can see that 4 over 4 equals 1. How are improper fractions and mixed numbers alike? How are they different? So improper fractions, the numerator is greater than or equal to, so greater than or equal to the denominator, such as 11 over eight, or four over four, or 15 over two. Those are all improper fractions. Mixed numbers, the denominator, is greater than the numerator. So 2 over 4, 5 over 10, 3 over 4, but what makes it a mixed number and not just a fraction is that it has to have a whole number in front of it. So we have to have this bigger whole number off to the side. Okay, on to the homework. Let's look at their example. Kelsey made two pitchers of lemonade. Each pitcher holds six cups. She poured four cups of lemonade from one pitcher. What fraction of the lemonade is left? Well, she has one whole pitcher left and two cups of that six left, so she has one and two sixths. Or we can count all the parts and count that there is eight over six left. So let's look at our practice, right? a mixed number and an improper fraction. So we have one whole and three pieces out of four, or count up all our pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over our unit denominator of four. Number two, we have two holes, one, two, and two out of three pieces, or we can count up all our pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over our unit denominator of three. We're doing the same thing up here. So we have one, two, three holes, and one fourth, or count up all our pieces. We have four, eight, 12. 12 plus one is 13 over four. Okay, number four, we have 12 eggs 
So this is our one whole and one, two, three, four, five over 12. So one and five twelfths or 12 plus five is 17. So 17 over 12. Draw a model to write two, two and three fifths as an improper fraction. Okay, so we have, we're gonna need three boxes divided into fifths. Two, three, four. So I color in two holes and three fifths, and I count up my pieces. There are five here, five here, and three here. Add that all up. We get 13 over our unit denominator of five. Now we need to draw a model to write 30 over four as a mixed number. So we've got one, two, we need quite a few boxes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all divided into fourths. Okay, 30, so we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 29, and 30. They're really testing you on your ability to count by fours. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes and two over four, which we know can be simplified to seven and one half. So that is our answer. Anna walked 13 over three miles. How many whole miles did Anna walk? What portion of an additional mile did she walk? So here they're asking us to take our improper fraction and put it as a mixed number. So we have 13 over three. So we can draw a model. And we're gonna need quite a few boxes. And we need to divide these into thirds. So count by threes, three, six, nine, 12, and one more makes 13. So how many boxes did we fill? One, two, three, four. So four and one third miles is how much she walked. There are five and four fifths cups of milk left in the carton. Write five and four fifths as an improper fraction. Explain what the improper fraction represents in this situation. So we can take five and four fifths. We could draw a diagram or we can use that handy multiplication trick and that's what we're gonna do so we don't have to draw a whole 25 boxes. So five times five is 25 over our unit denominator of five plus four fifths equals 29 over five. And what does that represent? That represents the exact same amount. Four fifths plus five is four and is five and four fifths, and that is equal to 29 over five. Number 19, is 10 over three an improper fraction? Explain. Well, yes, it's an improper fraction because 10 is greater than three. When the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator, it's an improper fraction. Now test practice. Amelia needs three and two thirds cups of sugar to make cupcakes. Which improper fraction names this amount? Well, let's figure out what that equals. So three and two thirds, let's use that handy multiplication trick. Three times three is nine over our unit fraction of three plus two thirds equals 11 over three. Which one of these matches? Not this one, not this one, not this one. Let's see, 11 over three cups. And that is the end of this lesson.